Welcome to Zenfinex MetaTrader 5 tutorial series. In this section, I will show you how to add new symbols to MarketWatch on the MT5 platform. As a UK regulated broker, we kindly request you take the time to read the risk warning on this slide. Let's begin. So on the MetaTrader 5 platform, we'll see a number of symbols flashing away showing live prices. And I'll show you how sometimes when this is not visible, how to make it become visible. So if you find yourself that you don't know where the market um, watch is, you can simply go to view Click on Market Watch, and then you will have um, a list of currencies and other instruments. But you may want to add currencies or other instruments that aren't currently displayed. And the way that you do that is by simply right clicking on the Market Watch panel, and you can do one of two things. You can either say, Well, look, I want to hide all of them except the one that I happen to be looking at. And if I want to add an individual currency or instrument, I can simply click on symbols. And in symbols, I will get a number of choices that I can add to my market watch. And they'll be split in different categories, including the major currency pairs, the minor currency pairs, and the exotics. Furthermore, there's also the metals, gold, silver, platinum, etc., indices, energies, commodities, and other instruments. And if you want them to be added to your market watch, you simply click on the one that you happen to be interested in. Let's just look at the Euro GBP. You hover over the dollar sign, you double click on it and that particular instrument will appear in your market watch so let's add a few more um, let's say we like the Australian dollar we want to watch how that is behaving um, we would like also let's say the GB New Zealand um, we want some metals for example we'd like to watch gold and we might want to watch some of the indices. Let's have a look at the US 500, which is the S&P 500. And it's entirely up to you how many you select um, and how many you want visible at any given time. Uh, another way is that you can simply right click on the market watch and say, look, just show me all of them. And that way you'll have a long list of all the available currency pairs and instruments, but it can be a little bit difficult to find the one that you may be interested in. And this is why you can hide all of them, hide all, and then add simply the ones that you are interested in. As we showed earlier, let's go to Forex. Let's go to one of the major pairs. Let's say we're very interested in the EuroCAD. By double clicking on it, it'll add um, the instruments to the market watch. And once you have them added to your market watch, a simple way of viewing the charts that uh, in, in, um, in the currency that you're interested in, let's say we were interested in the Euro CAD, we can highlight it and simply drag it across and then the Euro CAD chart will appear. Or for example, the USD JPY. So it's very simple to add symbols to your market watch. It's very simple to add currencies to the chart that you are, are interested in looking at. And if you want to look at all three charts, so we have the USD JPY, we can go to the Euro dollar, we can right click. As in our previous video, we're able to add different charts to our 
panel and we can maneuver our way around the ones that we're most interested in. And as I showed earlier, we can change the time frame for different currency pairs. And in another video, I'm going to show you how instead of going and changing the colors to the ones that you want, you're able to save this particular profile. And let's do that by using a template. Uh, let's just go further down and we'll see a template. Save this template as, let's just call it red and green. And by saving it, we can go to our other currency pairs, right click, template, and select the one that we just did with red and green bars. And this way, we're able to quickly change the colors in a uniform manner. Let's do the last one. And you might decide that you don't want to look at the charts individually, that you want to present them in a different way. For example, we can have them vertically tiled, we can have them horizontally tiled. So it's very versatile and really it it's there to, for you to choose uh, which view you prefer. And if your preference is that you only want to see one chart at a time, you just maximize that one. And then when you go to the other charts, you'll have the same chart. In other videos in this series, I'll show you more detail on how to use this uh, and its great features. So thank you for watching. Um, this short video. And of course, if you want to open an account with Zenfinex, use the link below and you can get started very, very quickly. Thank you.